What's up, YouTube? It's the real, the one, the only comic book junkie coming at you with another haul. This one is an eBay haul from, like, some books that I told you that I got um, over the past, like, few weeks. Um, so this one is going to be Halloween-themed because these are all, like, horror books or horror-related books. Um... So that's how I lump this group of books I'm going to show off. Uh, let's go ahead and get right into it, guys. Um, here is Straight Jacket, issue number four. As you guys remember from a previous video, I got one, two, and three, and I told you four wasn't on the way. Well, here it is. So this is my third complete set of this group, of this, uh, of this uh, comic. Really good comic. Um, yeah. Okay. As you guys know, I write my list on the backs of old um, comic book backing boards, which I think is a really good idea. So, uh, Alex Comic Hoarder, that's what I do. I use like old, old backing boards and that I get and I switch out and I just write the title and what numbers I need. So when I show them off on YouTube, you guys get a visual of my progress. Um, and here is basically, as of 8-28-2016, I needed 148 issues. So you guys know what that means when I pull this out. That means I got some books off the lot, off the list. And uh, I got my trusty marker to mark them off. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, these comics here are, are doubles. Um, I bought this as a lot. Um, so these are all doubles. Hellblazer 88... Hellblazer 80, Hellblazer number 74, number 68, number 67, number 66. These are all... I'm going to start uh, getting rid of some of my doubles on runs that, you know don't have any significance to me so if anybody wants to start a hellblazer run um just get in contact with me because i have a lot of doubles um as like these here so these are always up these are up for trade so if anybody wants to do a trade um just get with me and you know we can work something out but yeah if you wanted to start a hellblazer run i'm the guy to come to to help finish that for you all right here we go here's the ones that i need here's issue number 194 so let me go ahead and I'll mark them off as um, I show them. Here's issue 241. Yeah, guys, this is another run that I wanted to try to complete this year. Um, here is issue number... Where's the issue number at? 251. Yeah, this is definitely a, a run that I want to complete this year if I can. 257 263 282 and last but not least 294 all right so i took another you know another little chunk off and like I said, I'll just keep working on um, plugging away at this run as I see them come up on eBay. Or if, you know, I go to a shop and they have them for sale. So, yeah, really excited about that. Um, up next, you know, because since it is Halloween and I love horror books, I've been looking for uh, Halloween-themed books on, on eBay, and I picked up a couple lots. This one is a lot of 10 of... Tales are not not tales, but unexpected. There's 168, 176. You know they're not in the, the best condition. 186, 187. Just the covers are just out of this world. 196. I love horror themed covers. Issue 200, 201. 207 and 209 yeah so whenever i can find these on the cheap i will definitely pick them up oh one more unexpected 166 the evil eyes of the night yeah just really great covers 
All right, and next up is Witching Hour. It's another lot of 10 books. Number 62, number 64, 65, 71. Like I said, they're not in the best condition, but like I said, I'm not a uh, condition um, Nazi. So uh, there's number 72, 74, and I always go through my books and make sure everything's intact. Staples are there, you know, center pages attached and all that good stuff. So number 78. Number 79, 81, and last but not least, number 83. So yeah, I've been finding these pretty cheap, guys. Um, these two lots I got off the same seller. Well, let me see. Oh, which is pretty cool because he his thing for his uh, his his thing is is that when you buy comics off him, you get a free. If you buy Halloween themed comics off of him you get a free sketch and you know free sketches and stuff like that's kind of cool you know what i mean and here's one that i got with the um the unexpected it's don thanks for coming back for more books it was quite unexpected but look at that. that's kind of cool it's on the back of the invoice so i saved it i put it in you know in the back of one of the books that i bought off him i thought that was kind of cool and on this one, he sent with um, Witching Hour. So it's kind of themed with whatever you bought. And here it is. And it's, uh, Don, thanks for your um, order. Have fun choosing which book is your favorite, Keith. But it's kind of cool. And he drew it, you know, on the days that I bought the books or whatever. But that's kind of cool, man. I thought that was really neat that he did that. So I just put it... On the back side with some of the books that I bought. You know. And now for the big boys. You know I love me some Golden Age. And you know I love me some horror. So I got a couple Golden Age books. One's from 1954. And one is from 1957. Um, they're all. They're attached. But they are not in the best condition. But for 19. I believe this is the 1954 one. Out of the night. 10 cent cover. It's got some tape on the sides, but the staples are, the book is attached with staples, so, but, look at that, guys, pre-code horror books, I love me some Golden Age, I love Golden Age books, man, whether it's cartoony or war or, especially horror, but horror books tend to be a little more, uh, pricey than, like, the other types of Golden Age books, um, because, you know, the, the covers just, you know, they didn't really, they didn't really, you know, they didn't care what they drew on there. Um, bondage covers and stuff like that. So that's why I think they might be a little more pricey. And World of Suspense, issue number six, 10 cent cover. Yeah, it's got some issues right down the center. There's a hole on the cover right there. But for a night, I believe, I, I can't remember which one's which. But either way, for a comic that's 50, you know, 60 plus years old, 62 years old, are you really going to complain? I mean, it's the colors are still really bright. Like I said, it is a stat, it is attached to staples, as you can see. There's one, and there's one. Um, so it is still attached, and I did go through the books. They are complete, no cutouts or anything. Um, just a little, looks like rubbing over the years. And there's a little hole right there through the cover, some rubbing, and then a real tiny hole right there. But like I said, I am not, I don't, they don't have to be 9.6, especially when you deal with something this, this old. You're not going to get minty type books, unless they've been sitting in like a, a box stuck in a warehouse forever and never moved. So, anyways guys, that's enough rambling. This is my horror themed, um comic uh haul for the month um i'm glad you enjoyed it remember to thumbs up thumbs down um go out there and get them golden age books i think i paid 15 maybe 16 dollars each for them so the deals are out there you just gotta be patient you just gotta you gotta know what to look for so anyways guys it is the real comic book chunky with another ebay haul horror themed halloween themed don't be fooled by the imitations thumbs up thumbs down like subscribe unsubscribe. I don't care. Anyways, guys, I'm out.